So, welcome back to the T20 World Cup. It is Australia and Pakistan here in what shapes to be an absolutely enthralling encounter. Uh, my teams are probably wrong, so I'm sure you will abuse me in the comments for that at some point here, but it's Australia and Pakistan. A rematch of the 2021 T20 World Cup semi-final. Pakistan are called Tails here. Australia have won the toss. We are gonna chase once again in this semi-final. The winner will go on to play either England or India in the T20 World Cup final. So Mitchell Stark to Rizwan, who gets off to a flyer in this one. It's going to be Pakistan getting a couple of runs here off the first ball, or just a single. Maxwell doing a nice bit of fielding in the deep. Baba Azam also the other opening batsman here for Pakistan. And some debate about his sort of position in the team. Opens or bats at three, I've got him as opening. And I do want to point out just quickly here, I'm recording this whole series before the entire World Cup has even started. So I don't know anything that has actually happened at the World Cup at this point. Edged away and a boundary. Hazelwood's been terrific this World Cup. Hasn't been a huge wicket taker, but his economy has been fantastic. Oh, it's the pad. Bob bo trying to work him in the onside, Baba. In the air, and that's going to be runs. It'll be the first boundary of the... Oh, the second boundary of the innings, but it's the first six of the innings. Drop ball, bowled him! Oh, he's chopped it on, Bubba. He's out for seven. Hazelwood, terrific. The switch up. Bubba tries to get it away, and it hits the stumps. It's one for 12. Same are you, been at three. Edged. Oh, it's not going to get to Wade. They'll get a sneaky single anyway. One for 13, off two. Stark to continue. Oh, it's a no ball, and it's going to be four. So it's worth five and a free hit coming. Oh, how has it missed everything? Edge got him. Yes, he's got the nick. He's got the wicket. What a catch it was from Matthew Wade. Oh, it was a sharp chance. Pakistan lose their second wicket. Jeez, look at that, just diving to his left. It all went so fast. It's two for 18. Salman in at four. You know he's got some power in his game. Got as well, Mitchell Starks on a hat trick. First ball, Salman Aliaga's gone. Starks on a hat trick, Pakistan a three for 18. It's all falling apart. The pressure on Pakistan losing three wickets in the power play. Surely you give Stark another over. Thick edge. Dot ball. David, look at him. Wrap it in the field. Oh, Rizwan goes high. It's in the air. It's going to be all the way. A six. Got him! Hazelwood gets wicket for the swing in. The Yorker. A little bit of bat. And it crashes into the stumps. Rizwan in disbelief. Pakistan 4 for 24. Shadab Khan already in. Didn't think this would be what he'd have to do today. And Mitchell Stark, he's on a hat-trick. Hat-trick ball. Oh, it's away by Iftikhar Ahmed. Tim David, he's everywhere in the field, isn't he, Tim David? He's here, there, everywhere. Four wickets for Australia in the opening power play. Mitchell Stark putting under all sorts of pressure. It's been an absolutely disastrous semi-final start for Pakistan as well. Would not have pictured this. Oh, it's hit the pad. It's not shaping in enough. Four for 27 off five. Just three from the over. I think I've bowled fuller than I previously have. And maybe that's why we've had some early success. This is in the air. It's going to be safe. Maxwell can't get to it, so it's four. Oh, it's gone through everything. Taped in nicely. Get a couple here. Warner chasing it down. In the air, runs. Four. Ball has been effective. Short has been effective. We go short again. The one. Leading edge. Oh, it's bounced off the man. How is that? <laughs> it's out! That is the most extraordinary dismissal I think I've ever seen! Oh my goodness!
Let's have a look on the replay. It's a leading edge. It comes off the shoulder of the teammate, and Pat Cummins dives to make the catch. Oh dear, oh dear, shut up Khan, that is unlucky mate. He's out for eight, it is five for 42. Mohammed Wasim comes to the middle, Iftikhar Ahmed says, I don't know how I've got my man out like that. That is extraordinary. And this Australian bowling performance has been sublime. Five for 42. Thick edge is going to go to the boundary to finish the eighth. Five for 48. At least they're going at a runner ball. In the air, should be out. Stoinis underneath it. Ball comes to him. Takes it on the full. If the Carmen is out, it's six for 49. The one. 50 will come up. Of 8.4 overs. Six wickets down, though. We could almost get more aggressive with the field, to be fair. That's how well we're playing. Oh, was it pad first or bat first? All right, so we will give Zamper an over here, just in case we do need to find something out of a fifth bowl up for whatever reason. Uh, Stoinis and Zampa can probably work out the four overs between them. We're very happy with the way that the seamers have gone. That being, obviously, Mitchell Marsh in that as well. There's an outside edge that's going to go away for a couple of runs. Worth putting in a slip, maybe. And we move Tim David into slip. Look, I'm not overly happy with this over, to be fair. Five runs from it. Oh, Wade, what have you done? You actually moved out of the way. If you stayed in your spot, you might have been able to get him out. They'll pick up two to win the over six for 61. Now Stoinis in with the ball. We want to try and wrap up our fifth bowler as quickly as possible. That's in the air. That's going to be a boundary. So maybe that, that over of Zampa just gave him a little bit of a let off. Just given how well the seam bowlers were in fact bowling. Pakistan will need to get, what, somewhere over the 120 mark. That's in the air. Should be out as well. Stoinis... He's underneath it. Takes a catch. Seven for 70. It's all happening. Oh, and cut away for a single. Maxwell was nice in the field. Seven for 72 off 13. Just hush over the crowd at the moment. Yep. Pick up another single to end the 14th. It's seven for 75. Three from the over. Comes down the wicket. Has he got it over the top? Oh, Maxwell. Thought if anyone was going to catch that, it would have been him. No, it's a better hit. That's for much more effectively hit. Yeah, put the fielder out there now. Plenty of fielders out there now. And he goes again, and it's nicked. So, <laughs> gets away with that one, Abra Ahmed. He's going to get a couple. This time over the onside. Four more. Here we go. This is a nice over. Oh, that is unbelievable from Hazelwood. Bold. Just clean. In between middle and off. Shaheen completely missed the ball. It's 8 for 91. Can't get it away. 8 for 95 off 16. Which will start giving the ball back. Three overs that were terrific at the start of the innings. And he get another one here in over four. Oh, they wanted a, a third run there. Not happening. So Stark's finished. Cummins is bowling his last over now. Catch it! Over, over cover for four. Well played, Harris Ralph. It's real aggressive cricket from Australia using their prime bowlers uh, with two overs to go. Obviously, we've got the mate down. Uh, but we're probably going to use, I guess, Marsh and maybe... Oh, this could be out here. Hazelwood's getting underneath it. And he's uh, judged it perfectly. So it is out. We might not even need them. Nine for 101. Cummins is fired up. We would expect, uh, I think, Marsh. And maybe Stoinis. Or you could use Zampa for a fourth over if you need to. This way towards the boundary. They're just going to tandem. Throw it back in. 104 on the board. Whipped away. Might be four this time. Yes, it is. Nine for 108 off 18. So the captain turns back to himself and says, all right, guys, I'll see what I can do here. That looked absolutely plum, if you ask me. Mm. The captain signals himself and says, I will send it upstairs. Where does it hit? It was pitching in line. 
it was impact in line and it was actually going down. Oh, it looked, it, I thought it, it shaped in and then it hit the seam and moved away slightly. So it remains not out. Last ball of the Mitchell Marsh over. Going to be away through mid wicket. I reckon they're going to get this all the way to the boundary and they do. Nine for one, one five with Nova to come. Straight through him. Stoinis ends the Pakistan innings with one that shapes in and hits middle and off. Naseem Shah is out. Pakistan are all out. Just 117 on the board. Abra Ahmed ends not out. Gee, it was an unbelievable sort of a game. But in the end, everywhere you look, a disastrous batting card for the Pakistan side. Rizwan's 11. Uh, Iftikhar 14, Wasim 14, and Abra Ahmed 43 from 31. The only four players to score more than a single digit score. Salman, uh, first ball, Duck, Baba, and Seyma Yub. Not very competitive at all. And the biggest partnership there, I think, was worth 21 runs for the seventh wicket stand. It was uh, just a masterclass in bowling from the Australians. 16 dot balls for Mitch Stark, 14 for Hazelwood, 11 for Cummins. And you can see everyone contributed with a wicket. So Australia, they're not far away from booking a spot in the World Cup final. Shaheen Shah Afridi will hope that he can get Pakistan back into this match. Australia need just 118 in order to progress. That's a nice start. Good shape. Oh, up and over Warner. That is huge. That is six. Brilliant. Anything short with width, Warner will look to put away as well. There's not much there, but he gives himself room and he finds another boundary. Got to find an early breakthrough or two in the power play to be any sort of a chance. Oh, that's too good. Six again. 16 off the first. And immediately head. Gets it through the cover. Ball, it's straight, and it's a boundary for Trav Head. And he goes again, and he gets it over again. Another four, it's done for 29 off two. Flicks it away on the corner. Could be a boundary, is a boundary. In the air, might be out. Is taken. The first breakthrough for Pakistan. Shaheen takes a catch, it's one for 35. We're seen with the wicket. Now it comes to the middle and oh, probably saved a boundary there, Rizwan. They'll scurry through for one. 36 off the first three. So the seam obviously very effective for the Australians. They just need 4.8 runs and over. Mitchell Marsh is going to make four runs off the first ball. Oh, it's just cut away easy for four more. It's quite an interesting game because we can be very, very confident knowing that obviously, like, we're in such a great position to win the game. That's very close. It might have been an unnecessary run out it is. Warner will depart. Pakistan. Well, have they just changed things a bit? Two for 44. Maxwell decides to take a risk by hitting it into the big stand. Yeah, six again. When you get it out of the middle, it just goes all the way. Oh, that's another one. That's too good from Maxwell. Another big six. Missed out on another World Cup final. Six more for Glenn Maxwell. Apart from the Y, there is another one. Four sixes in the over. Two for 76 off five. It's some crazy hitting. Current run rate is 15.2. And it's just because of the confidence the Australians have, knowing that there is not much to do. Mitch Marsh with a huge six. And by the end of the power play, they're gonna be just a few runs away. Another one into the gap. It's just simplistic at the moment. Elementary at this stage. Short and pulled and in the gap and four. At the end of the power play, Australia have 90 runs on the board. They need just 28 to go through to the World Cup final. Up and over, and four. Jeez, I'm so far across the stumps. If I didn't hit it, it was very out. I reckon there was some pad involved, but it might have been bat first. 
Oh, and that's going to be maybe five wides. In fact, it's just four buys, but it's still freebie runs for Australia. They need nine to win. And in bizarre scenes, Harris Ralph is going to get his first over. It might be his only couple of deliveries because there's four. It's one shot away for Australia now. Oh, he's found the man, Mitch Marsh. He hit it to Bubba Razam going for the win. He's had for 36. Ralph gets a wicket. All the fielders are in. He just has to go over the top. And that's exactly what Maxwell does. Australia are headed to the World Cup final. It was an emphatic seven wicket win set up by the bowling masterclass of Australia's quicks. Mitchell Marsh, player of the match for his 36 from 17, as well as his bowling figures where he did take a wicket. Um, but Australia made three for 120 in 8.5 overs to chase down this Pakistan score. Once again, we have a look at Australia's bowling card because this is where the game was won and lost. Hazelwood's four overs, three for 20. Starks, uh, four overs, two for 16. Cummins, two for 28. Marsh, one for 17. Zampa, one for 26. And Stoinis, one for 10. Everyone contributed. Their economies were all brilliant and they all took wickets. It was simply too good as Australia will go through to the World Cup final. Who we will be facing? Ah, oh, well, I'll find out now. Let's do it now. So we're actually just going to do a simulation here, but we wanted to see who won the toss. It was England who won the toss. They wanted a bowl. Let's see what happens in this game. So let's have a look at the batting scorecard. India, four for 170 at the end of 20 overs. Sharma at first ball, which is exactly what happened against Australia. So he hasn't had a good T20 World Cup. Here, Jaiswal 13, Kohli 10, uh, Surikumi Yadav 48, 57 for Rishabh Pant and Hardik Pandya, putting on a big partnership there, worth 72 runs to get them up to that 170 score. For England's bowlers, the wickets were Topley, Wood, Rashid and Archer. Curran, Ali and Jacks bowling uh, a couple of overs each themselves. Uh, India, can they defend 170? Let's find out. Five overs at a time at the five over mark. It's one for 40. Chasing 170, they're on about par. The end of 10 overs, it's three for 177. Still about par. The end of 15 overs, it's six for 117. So India look like they could be on their way to the World Cup final. Jadeja has four wickets. Six for 130. 10 and over needed off the final four. Six for 140, still 10 and over needed off the final three. Seven for 154, which means it is 17 from 12. Patel is going to bowl. Harry Brook is in with Jofra Archer, who books themselves a spot in the World Cup final alongside Australia. Oh, what a shot from Brook. It's six. So it's now 11 from nine. Brook goes again. Six again. England. A one shot away. Harry Brook brings up his 50 off 30 deliveries. It's seven for 166. Four would be a tie. Six would be a win. He can't get it through cover. Final ball of the 19th over. It's an edge. It's going. It's going to be at least one. They will settle for the one. So Brook will be on strike for the last over. England need four to win. And there is the 55 for Harry Brook so far. Hardik Pandy going to bowl the last over. Harry Brook in England. They need just four runs to win. Got ball. Four from five. Doesn't beat the gap either. Four from four. I thought, thought you'd want to see my reaction to this as to who I'm actually fighting in the final. I'm not touching anything. Can't beat the gap again. Four from three. Three dot balls for Pandy to start the over. Oh, that's not a great delivery. Has he got it over the top? He has. It's all the way for six. England will face Australia in the World Cup final. Harry Brook, the hero for the English. It's a three-wicket win in the end. India have been eliminated. The defending champs will take on Australia in the World Cup final. That means this will be the battle of the, I guess, the 2020... Two World Cup final winners and the 2021 World Cup winners. 
in England and Australia. Gee, the rivalry just gets better and better between these sides, doesn't it? We've had the Ashes uh, and Australia looking to, to win everything. Can they do it? So that's it. We're all set up for a brilliant final. India is out. England will face Australia in the World Cup final. In our version, what's going on in reality? Not a clue. Would not have a clue. But thanks for watching, everyone. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you with Australia and England for the World Cup final in the next video. Goodbye.